So far, our drivers have been quite simple to set up because our values have always ranged from 0 to 1 in both our driver value and our driven value, but this won't always be the case. So for example's sake, I'll change our custom property min and max values to minus 2 and 2 and get this to have the same result just to demonstrate how we can manipulate our driver behaviour. At the moment you'll notice our shape key only reacts between the value of 0 and 1 because it only accepts an input between 0 and 1. We could change our shape key min and max values to match our slider but this is no good because it changes the behaviour of our shape key. So I'll undo out of that and bring your attention to our driver graph. The numbers along the x axis represent our input value and the numbers along the y axis represent our output value. This white dotted line gives us a visual representation of our input and output values which at the moment are equal to one another. Now if you look really closely at the curve you'll see two little dots that represent keyframes. The first is at 0 and the second is at 1. We can actually manipulate these keyframes to change the behaviour of our curve which is actually just a straight line right now. Before we do that let's first work out what we want to change. We want it so that when our input is at minus 2, our output is at 0. This will be our first keyframe, so let's select it and navigate to the F curve tab. And I want to draw your attention to key, which shows the values of our selected keyframe. I find it very useful to think as frame as input and value as output. Currently our input and output are both at 0, so our output is already correct. We just need to change our input to minus 2. Notice how the graph changes. Then I'll select the second keyframe and again we only need to change our input since our output is already where we want it. So I'll change the frame to 2. So just to clarify, when our input is at minus 2, our output is at 0. And when our input is at 2, our output is at 1. This results in our driver now behaving as it should. If you like and share this video you'll be doing a lot to support me and you might also consider visiting my Gumroad store where you'll find a bunch of tutorial packages covering advanced topics for your 3D characters. Thanks for watching.